Lots of people ask about our partial interval recording data sheet and how we use it and why we use it. Let me start with the question of why we use a partial interval recording data sheet. And that is because when you're dealing with negative behavior, especially any type of behavior you're trying to put on extinction, it's really difficult to take data at the same time as you're trying to deal with negative behavior. Um, it's also really difficult to track frequency and duration data at the exact same time. So we use, we get around that by using a partial interval recording data sheet. This is what it looks like and I'm going to show you how to fill it out. So first of all, you would write the student's name. I'm just going to write Shana for the sake of writing Shana. And say, for instance, uh, the target behavior I'm dealing with is aggression. Um, so I might put an A for aggression. I may actually define what that is, defined as blah, blah, blah. Um, I may also engage in some type of self-injurious behavior. So I'm gonna just mark that with either SIB or just an S for self-injurious behavior. And I might define that. I may need to make this line a little bit longer to define all my problem behavior. With that being said then, I am also going to then write an interval. We've got every single minute here from the minute the student walks in until the minute they leave. So this particular student, Shana in this case, is at our center from 3 o'clock until 6.15 and this is what time her sessions are. Now I am going to have this out. I'm going to be doing ABA programming with her. Oh, it's four o'clock and all of a sudden she starts to engage in some type of problem behavior. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the clock when she starts to engage in aggression and it is four o'clock. So right now I'm just gonna put an A right there. I'm gonna throw my pen down. I'm gonna deal with the aggression according to my behavior protocol. When the aggression stops, I'm gonna look at the clock again and she engaged in the aggression until 4.05. So I would just fill this in after the fact and then I would keep going and at uh, 4.15, she also engages in a little bit of aggression, but it doesn't last that long. It lasts maybe 10 seconds. So I'm just going to write a really quick A right there at 4.15 because again, I glanced at the clock. And then you know what? For the rest of the session, she's doing pretty well until about 5.15 and she sees somebody else being picked up and she's not, she's not being picked up yet and she really wants to go home or so that's what I think. Um, anyway, she engages in some type of SIB at 5.15. So I'm going to write down an S here. Um, and she engages in it for two minutes or she engages in it sometime between 5.15 and it stops at 5.16. Uh, and then again at about 5.27, she engages in aggression and this time it lasts a while. Um, it lasts from 527 all the way to 534. Um, and then, you know what, for the rest of the session, um, she's engaging, she's participating in programming, and again at 555, she engages in some SIB, but it was really quick. So then at the end of the session, I'm going to tabulate my data. I'm going to look at this data sheet, and I'm going to do two things. Number one, I'm going to look at how many times throughout the session she's engaged in aggression. One, two, three. There's my frequency count of aggression. So, I mean, I can write this here. Aggression was three times throughout the session and the duration is approximately five minutes for the first one. The second one is less than one minute. Uh, less than one minute. And the next one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight minutes long. Approximately eight minutes. Okay, um, and I'm also going to look at self-injurious behavior and in terms of SIB, she engaged in SIB two times throughout the session. There's my frequency and in terms of my duration data, one time it was for two minutes and one time it was for one minute or less. And this is what I'm gonna graph. So I graph my frequency and I graph my duration and that's how I take data on that.